certainly glad you could join us today on this very special day, which happens to be your birthday. I thought today we'd do a fantastic little landscape, so I'll tell you what. I'll have them run all the colors across the screen so you can paint along with us at home later in the show. We have a very special guest joining us today. So, I've covered the canvas in a very thin layer of phthalo blue and alizarin crimson. So, we'll get right into it here. I'm going to take the old one inch brush here. I'm just going to start in titanium white here. Just going to go right, right at the top of the canvas and go just in nice little lines just right across the top. All right. So we've just got the white here. We're just making little crisscross strokes here. Just trying to get this is where our light source is going to come from. Just going back and forth. Take a little more of that titanium point. And we'll come back into that. Just make it a little bit brighter. And we're just going to go right across the whole canvas. All right. We've started ourselves in Lady Sky. We're just coming into more of our titanium white. We're just going back to our light source. We're just doing little crisscross strokes. Now right here, this is where the light source is coming from, so you want that to be the brightest spot. So we're gonna come back here, crisscross, and then we're just gonna go right across the canvas. It helps if you make the little noises. Right across. And then we have ourselves a nice little sky. I think we ought to make ourselves a mighty little mountain. So I think we're going to go right into some phthalo blue. And we're going to cut off a little bit of lizard and crimson. I'm just going to mix those two right on the palette. I think we're going to add it to the titanium white mixture over here that I used for our happy little clouds. Okay, now that we have a good mixture there, I'm gonna cut off a little, a little roll of paint. We're gonna come right up here. I think I wanna stick the mountain right here. Come down. I'm gonna go do it again on the other side. And cut right down like that. And you wanna scrape off any excess paint mountain ought to come all the way down here. That's a mighty mountain. I think it's another little bump here. Wherever you want to make your little bumps, wherever you think that they should happen is where they're going to happen. It's going to come all the way down here. Scrape away the excess paint. here on my palette. I've got some more titanium white. I'm just going to pull it out real flat and then cut across here. Now I think this mountain could use a little bit of highlights. So I'm going to follow the shadows. We're going to come all the way down. Doesn't that look like snow? I think that looks like snow. So we're going to come all the way as well. And then right over here. Pull it out. And this mountain goes a little bit far. What we're going to do. Just like it. Just like it. Pull it out. And come on down the mountain. We're going to take more of this purple color here, mix a roll of titanium white, and this will be our shadow color. So you really have to look on the mountain and find where your shadows are. So I think we're going to go here, that looks like a shadow. These look like shadows right over here. Come down, pull across. 
down, pull across. I think we're, we're getting a, a mighty mountain. I'm gonna make some shadows here. Always follow the angles. Always follow your angles. Here, pull across. Just gonna add a little bit more snow, purple. down and across. I think we have a mighty fine mountain all right. So we're going to take our one inch brush again. We don't really care. We're just going to use the dirty old brush. We're going to go back into this titanium white. We're just going to tap upward to create a mist. Now, I'm actually going to come up here and tap down going along the angles. I'm going to pull Pull down. Just pull straight down. Just see how that's creating a mist? I'm just going to go right, right across, right across the canvas. So now we have a, a real mighty mist going on here. Go right across. All right. Now, I'm thinking we're going to go to the fan brush. So, we're going to grab our old fan brush here. And we'll take a little bit of the sap green. Some of that blue. Some of that blue-purple color that we had before. Just loading the bristles with paint. Just loading those bristles with paint. Start here. Just create some some little indications of trees. We don't really care too much right now what they look like. Just some little indications. Some of them are tall. Some of them are some of them are quite short. Just like people. We don't really. They're all different. I'm going to come all the way over here. I'm actually going to go back into that color. Get some, get some lighter color on there. Let me show it more over here. Go all the way. So I'm still going with this sap green color here. Now, if you feel you've made your painting too dark, which I feel I have here, don't worry. You haven't made a mistake. We don't make mistakes here. We make happy little accidents. Speaking of happy little accidents, it's at this point in the program that I'd like to introduce you to my son, Steve. Steve? Hi, Dad. It's great to be here today. So, as you can see, he already provided the color for me. So, as you can see, he has provided this nice green color right here. So, we're going to go right in highlighting the trees. Like so... This is your world. You can do whatever you want. Just gonna go all the way across. Get some color on the brush. Scrub that right in there. Don't let the trees get left out. Gonna go right across. Lighter color. Make sure in this darker area you can see all the trees. Make sure they aren't left out. Okay. So, I think we should go in. You don't need to clean the brush, that's all right. So, you can take a little lemon yellow, mix that in with your green. All right. We're gonna make a nice grassy area you can have hills if you want. Doesn't matter, it's your world. Scrub that into the canvas real nice. Don't be afraid to get tough with it. Look at this beautiful mountain my father made. Alright. Go right across, get some more green in there.
this color really pops since the rest of the painting is very dark. It's happy color. So down here, you can get the difference in the hills. Make sure they aren't too similar. Go down here, make a little space in between them. That's a finished painting. Thank you all for having me today. God bless. Later in the program, we'll have a very special guest joining us today. So, I've covered the canvas in a very thin layer of Thalem Blue. <laughs> I hate you so much. I hate you so much. What? You were laughing. Why are you laughing? I was doing so well. No. Oh, uh, I'll just just duck or something. push the bristles upward to create a to create a mist. Oh shoot! The chair. Oh no. We don't make mistakes. This is what we'd call a happy little accident. And speaking of happy little accidents, it's- Oh my gosh, I was so close! <laughs> Dang it! Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. Oh, I didn't get it on you. Okay. Okay, wait, but like, how do you not get it on you? How do you not get it on you? Okay. Hi, Dad. It's great to be here. Thank you. <laughs> I'm so sorry. You look like Inigo Montoya. <laughs> Dad, it's great to be here today. So my father has already prepared all the paints. <laughs> 